Really excited for today, you know, with, with Haven and Barry um, officially joining the family. Um, a lot of great things are ahead for both of their careers. And, um, you know, we addressed a size issue, uh, needing to, to add that with, with Haven at 6'6". Um, she's also an, an Illinois kid, um, so we love that. And I think she's someone that has a ton of upside. Uh, really, the, the sky's the limit for her. She's someone that obviously has a size. She can move. She has some range to 15 to 17 feet um, and, and capability to shoot the three. Um, and she works. And she also really wants to be at Illinois, which I think is, is obviously key, especially for our in-state kids. Um, and I think she's someone that maybe some people didn't you know, recruit as hard, but I think she can be end up being a very, very good player in our league. Um, and and Barry Wallace, obviously, you know, I've known I've known the Wallaces for a long time. I recruited their younger. The first home visit I did, my first day on the job as a Dayton head coach was to Barry's younger sister, um, uh, Barry, who went on or uh, got Bexley. All their names are start with the B. I messed up. Bexley, who went on to go to Penn State. So I've known the family for a long, long time and just great people. And, you know, we've been recruiting her for a long time. And Barry's someone that just continually gets better. And now she's, a, you know, ranked 20, 20 in, the, in the country. She's you know, has a great uh, potential to be a McDonald's All-American. And she's someone that can score at all three levels. And with her size is going to create a lot of mismatches. And she's just a great great kid a great kid like along with haven they're great kids they're perfect for our culture and they work really really hard um and that's something that you know we're just not going to compromise on in our recruiting is 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 kids that are good people but also work really really hard and, and have a passion for this game so i could not be more excited about these two and i know that they're going to have you know amazing careers here and i'm i'm excited to get them here on campus and, and get working with them Shauna, recognizing playing time's never given, it's earned. Uh, how, what's your conversation with players like this, especially as they maybe look at your roster and anticipate who may be back or not and what their goals are? Yeah, I think every every class, every year, every player, it's different because there are. They're, they're, you have to look at rosters and see. Um, and, and it may help you get kids and it may hurt you and not get some kids because they see, oh, shoot, I don't want to play behind, you know, three seniors or two seniors or whatever it is so it, it can help and hurt in recruiting um, with this class you know the thing that I actually really loved about both of them is not one time did playing time come into a conversation and that leads me to believe that they believe in themselves and they're going to bet on themselves and and they want to really be here and they're great team players that they're going to come and they're going to work and trust their own skill set and, and and work ethic so they can continue to get better. So we didn't have a ton of those conversations with either of them. Um, but if you look at it next year, you know, if, if we have our, our COVID kids come back, uh, well, Hobby's gone anyways, and KB would be a senior, and then Bryn would be a senior, and that, that four spot that Barry could play for and or a wing. So there's a lot of opportunity there um, in those positions, and especially in that class. Just, I guess, when you kind of look big picture where you're at right now after one season, you know, just the sales pitch that you're able to do after this past season, just how much easier is that uh, when you're trying to, you know, sell recruits on this program and to bring in a top 20 recruit like, like Barry as well? Yeah, I don't, I, I never want to say easy and recruiting in the same sentence, but I, I you have to have, you got to win a little bit, right? You guys know that in order to uh, be able to sell what I think we're unique at in terms of our culture and in terms of, here at Illinois and what we have to offer in terms of education, facilities, resources, support. Um, so the winning kind of gets you in the door a little bit more. But someone like a, a Barry, again, I think what their family is about was relationships. And we've known them for a long time. They've trusted us. They've seen our product you know, and followed it at Dayton for all those years. So I think that was a little bit different um, where with our kids that we're talking about having signed. But in recruiting in general, uh, last year helped us a lot. <laughs> it, it helped us a lot. Um, I, 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 it just has. But now, like I've said in the past too, we got to get to the finish line and we got to be able to get them to commit and get them to, to sign. Because 
it's all good and it's great and it sounds good, but it, it's really, really hard to get them to say, yes, I'm coming there. And, and that's where we, we've, we've made a lot of ground um, in a short time, but we're still striving for more. But I'm excited. I, we're definitely on the right path, no, no doubt about it. And now also, Joe, to go on that, getting someone, you get a top 20 kid. Now they've played with all those top kids. So now they know, oh, ba you know, Barry knows all those guys. So now she's going to start recruiting. And, and that's where you can really get to that next level when your players are the ones really recruiting and helping you out. So, Coach, you brought up Haven, and, and obviously that's her first in-state uh, commit. When you look ahead to future classes, how important is it to have that piece in place? You know, I've said it since day one. I want in-state kids to have the dream to play and put on the Illinois jersey. I mean, there's no no doubt. And we've worked really hard. And, and, and people, you know, you see the end result that maybe we haven't signed one of the, the you know, top whatever kids. Uh, believe me, I can tell you we have worked tirelessly and, and built a lot of relationships with some of those guys, and we didn't get them. And, and yeah, it sucks to come in two or three, right? But – Again, I have to I have to have faith in our process and I have to trust the process. And I know we're gonna, you know, and, and Haven's a great start because even though throw away, you know, we all get caught up in rankings and I, they're they're valid in a lot of situations. But you also got to trust your eye and and trust you know what you know fits. And I think Haven's one of those players. Um, but we're gonna continue to to keep you know we're knocking we're knocking we're gonna break the wall down and we're gonna we're gonna get some of those top in state kids to to stay here. I know that it's going to, it may take some time, but we got to trust it. Um, and Haven, you know, I, I'm so excited that she's going to be that first person to be like, Hey, I'm staying home and make it the cool thing to do. And, and she absolutely loves this place. And, and that's what matters to me. It's about the people that want to be here. And, you know, if we play you now and you're on the other, you know, the other side, we want to beat you. So gradually taking those steps mm -hmm. over her career like what, what would you see early that you thought maybe she had the potential to have those growth points you know she's someone you just got to continue to watch obviously you're you see her right away and you see size and and you know then you got to just keep watching keep watching sometimes you know as college coaches and, and recruiting you know it's interesting how a lot of people recruit but we want to really evaluate so I mean I went up there a ton last uh last season just to watch her in high school and and then watch her you know throughout the summer on her in her AU team um and the more I watched her the more I really believed as someone because if you're six six and you're completely like there you're number one or two player in the country right let's just be honest about it so when you're recruiting bigs it's different than recruiting guards you got to really evaluate and see do they have the things that are important to your program and your your system and your culture and then can you make them better so i like some of the intangibles again can catch the ball has good hands can run the floor at her size she can run um, she works really really hard and she's really really coachable and wants to be great so all those things with the big i'm gonna you know, I'm going to take that and, and, and trust and bet on ourselves and our staff to, to develop her. You know, with Barry and just other recruits that you've had, you know, you've developed relationships with or maybe the first time you didn't get them, but then the second time you got. Just what does that process kind of look like as you try to build those things? And, you know, do you maybe think – you know, maybe we don't get them this time, but we can get them down the road on something along those lines. Yeah, I think I have a higher percentage in the second time around. And I don't know. That's not good, though. I don't I don't know. Is it good or is it bad? Right. <laughs> but it's true. Like all of we, you know, that was also at Dayton when we lost some kids because they wanted a power five. Um, but I, I think who we are at our core, we're built on relationships and, and we really get to know kids and their family. So then like a hobby who, again, we had recruit for she she wants to go somewhere for her last year, then we're, we're in that door right away. Um, so yeah, and, and my philosophy has always been where it's really hard when a kid calls and tells you no, and it's really hard when the kid like cries and tells you no, because there's something there. And I've had, this year, the past year, I had multiple like crying no's. So that doesn't make me feel any better, but you've done what you can do. There could, there had to be some outside other factors, right? And, and I really believe we were at places where we needed to be with some of those kids. So if something doesn't work out with them, 
you know, I always leave it in a good spot and, and you never burn a bridge because they could, they could want uh, to, to come here. And I love transfers because they've been somewhere else and then they usually really appreciate where they're at the second time. Seems like <clears throat> just maybe every season there's more players with maybe Haven size and maybe <clears throat> growing skill as well to, mm -hmm. to go with that. I mean, is that. Do you see that as a trend where I mean, just the game's getting a little bigger? I do. I think, you know, you see it. Players are getting bigger. Players are getting more athletic. You have more women dunking. You have more, you know, women doing a lot of different things. And, and that's what's making our uh, game so great now. And I think that's where there's so much visibility and um, publicity with it. Uh, and the, the game's better. So I think it's trending all in the right direction. Um, but, yeah, the size is, is definitely getting – Kids are getting bigger. I don't know what's going on, but kids kids are getting bigger, and, and that's a great thing as a basketball coach, so we'll take it. And I don't know. I kind of relationships are really important for you guys on the trail, but have you found your recruiting footprint at all expand over the last 16 months? And if so, like are there areas that you've targeted as obviously the state being mm -hmm. here would probably be one, but have you like broadened out at all there? Yeah, we're recruiting, you know, across the country. Um, and – you know, a lot of those, I think you always recruit your breadbasket, which is, you know, obviously Illinois and then our touching states and, and what's home for you. So you got to recruit that extremely hard. But then, you know, like a, a kid from Ohio, like a Barry, I mean, that was that was a prior relationship. We obviously have really good connections and, and good relationships when you've been in a state for nine years. So we'll keep recruiting Ohio really hard, um, you know, adding like Calamity has a lot of experience all over the country with her spending time out west and now obviously adding Britt who's been out west a lot she brings in some different connections and in relationships with coaches that maybe I don't even know them or didn't have that so now they're introducing that to to me and and you know so it kind of all works like that um, but we're going to go wherever we can uh, to to get the talent that we need if they fit us but um, I think Britt's really helped in that too just kind of forging some new relationships. Just one more. I know you talked about how the importance of last year, um, but is there a moment maybe that you're out on the trail in the summer that through conversations with recruits or parents or coaches that you felt kind of all of that come to reality? You know, there's that's a good question. There's, there's been a lot of different moments that, you know, at times where you feel like, are we making traction? Are we making, you know, when, when some things happen, you're like, yeah, we are. <laughs> we are. Even comments by, you know, colleagues or by recruits um, or their parents, you know, little things, or we offer a kid, now you see who offers right after. I think that's one of the, the, the greatest compliments. It's like, oh, where, you know, that's, that's interesting. And you see kind of a little trend of it. Um, so I think that there's a lot of different moments um, that, have, that have really come through with that. And the most thing that, that I value is when parents, you know, when they make comments about certain things, about how we do things, and uh, that's what means a lot to me. So we're getting there. Not to say you weren't in the mix for kids like um, Barry at Dayton, but you've kind of implied the new job and, and the new league and everything that goes with that. Did that open doors for you immediately with kids that you would have loved to have had at Dayton but probably would have crossed off? Yeah, no doubt about it. I mean, it, it just it, it does. So, you know, when you play in the Big Ten and in one of the best women's basketball leagues in the country, uh, you can and then you have a staff, you know, first off, you won a little bit. So you, people respect what we did, I think, at a high level. Um, and we have a staff that's very respected so they can reach out to their people. And um, and now you come. This is the thing where I was like, just we need to get them here. Once we get them here, everything usually like usually everyone loves it and and if we can get them here and see everything the facilities meet the people how we go about our visits like the interaction the the you know really having them with our team and that family approach um i think has even bumped us up the list on some of those where we got them here and then i'll always ask them I'm like what did you think is it what you thought is it and almost i think every time i've ever asked that oh my gosh it's so much more like it's so much more than i thought it would be so I think we can get in the door, and then if we can get them here, I think they really can see, you know, all the all the really opportunities they could have here. How, how much does playing style kind of play into your recruiting pitch? See, kids want to play fast, so they want to shoot threes, and and you shoot threes and you play fast. So. 
it's something that we really we really push. First off, we're not going to recruit someone that doesn't fit how we play, but we really try to stress it with players because every player says they want to play fast. Everyone says, oh, I want to play up tempo, this and that. So I'm like, okay. I always try to flip it and like you need to do your research to see who really does play fast because as coaches, we all say we want to play fast too. And we're going to play fast. We're going to play free. We're going to do this. But like do the research and, and really look at who's doing that, who has been doing that, and then who has had success doing that. So depending on who we're recruiting, we'll just use some of those. You know, we'll, we talk style fit all the time. Um, it works sometimes, you know, and, and with someone like a, a Barry, that was a big piece because her dad's a coach, and it was a big piece that he knew how we played. He'd seen it for multiple years, um, and he, he, he really was, was firm about believing this is, you know, she fits here and she can excel in this system. So I think that was a big key um, in her decision too.